So we're in Tampa, Florida, because five months ago, we bought a boat and then haven't seen it since. And now we're back to clean it out, take inventory and finalize our refit list. But first we have to get our rental car, try to find our Airbnb and get some supplies for the night. Yeah, so we'll see you somewhere along the journey. That was good. It was really good, actually. Yeah, really good Mexican food. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> now, on to Winn Dixie. I had this grand plan of buying like a bunch of cleaning products, but the angel on the shoulder over here talked me out of it. We'll We're buy gonna them wait tomorrow. to see what we actually need. Here's the car. Oh man, this is the first time we're walking into a place without a mask in like a long time. So there must be a, a hive in here or something. You gonna explain? There's, <laughs> so there are dead bees everywhere in here. They're all over, there's thousands of them. They look all dead, I guess, but that was the first surprise, I think, <laughs> of the day. <laughs> oh boy. And honestly, if that's the only surprise, not gonna be that big of a deal. I am actually pleasantly surprised because it does not look like it's moldy at all. Hopeful the bees would be the worst surprise of the trip, I jumped into the engine room to start our biggest project of the day, taking an exhaustive inventory of all systems on the boat. Uh, hey, so we're here in the engine room. So one of the things that's nice about this boat is there's an actual engine room. Look at how big this is. Like I can easily fit in here. Everything's pretty accessible. There's also like an extra door access room up there to the front of the diesel, the old girl here. Um, so we can get to the pulley system and all that stuff. But anyway, we're just kind of brainstorming ideas right now. So we have some like useful components in here, some things that aren't useful, like this bad boy, um, 3000 watt inverter. We can probably make do with this for a while before, instead of changing it. This is uh, like a charge controller, um, not charge controller, it's a battery charger for when you're plugged into shore. Back there, you're not gonna be able to see it, but back behind me, um, we have like the Victron Smart Solar uh, Power or Charge Controller, which is actually really nice. I didn't think we had any products of that quality here, but the big issues here are this guy and that guy over there. Um, this guy, is a 16 kilowatt Northern Lights generator that, as far as we know, doesn't work. If we can't get it easily fixed, if it takes more than just a little bit of work, I'm in favor of just chopping this bad boy out, getting rid of it. The air conditioning unit over there is over 40 years old at this point in time. I'm 
it's not gonna be efficient unit anyway. I'm in favor of just chopping that and pulling that out. And then that'll free up a bunch of space here. <clears throat> so we might be able to do like a fake bridge over the uh, transmission and drive shaft <clears throat> that I have my leg on. And like maybe use this as like a utility closet. I think it could be pretty good. Got some work to do, but potential is there. Uh, deal with that. Pleasant surprise. Uh, the solar panels have kept the batteries charged, and so we actually have some power down on the boat without being plugged into shore power, which is nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, otherwise things are going pretty well. I am like pretty sure I permanently uh, scarred the bottom of my shoes. Should have seen that coming. Oh well. Yeah, just keep cleaning. We're gonna start like the inventory process here pretty soon. Of um, to start at the very back of the boat open like every single drawer cabinet, write it down the space, take notes and move forward back. But it's 1228 before that, we might have our Lunchable. With lunch behind us, we dove back into the big project of the day, taking inventory of the boat. By taking a thorough inventory, we familiarize ourselves with every nook and cranny and lay a great foundation on which we can plan our refit. And we were able to locate the epicenter of our morning surprise. We found the hive. We found the bees. That was a long day. Let's talk about it. Much better. I agree. Now that we're cleaned up, we can talk a little bit about the day because it was a long one. What did we do? We took inventory of the boat. We did a little mini tour to get ourselves reacquainted with everything. You did a lot of writing down of serial numbers and brands of all of the equipment. I think it's generous to call it writing. It's like my own hieroglyphs. Sure. <laughs> as long as you can understand it. <laughs> like 80% of the time I can understand it later. We did a little bit of cleaning of the bees. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was crazy. You go down in the boat and there's just dead bees everywhere. Just covering the bottom of the boat. Yeah. It was nuts. And then a little later we found the beehives. <laughs> Oh well. It was, I think, the worst surprise, at least from day one, of getting reacquainted with the boat, which I'm pretty pleased about because the boat's been sitting here in Florida for five months unattended. No mold, no standing water, because it has been kind of rainy. And not only has it been rainy, it's been like freezing a couple days, which is weird this far south in Florida. And I didn't really find any issues with like those things in the boat, so I was actually pretty pleased that the bees were like the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to think what else. I mean, not a lot, right? It was just a good productive day. Went from there, we have kind of a to-do list to do tonight. Uh, top of the priority is priority. Priority? <laughs> top of the priority list is to get some food, but it's not gonna be the first thing we do. First, we're gonna go to Lowe's because we need a few supplies. Yes. Yeah, and then after that, we'll get some food. And then we'll come back here and just chill. Fan's really loud. Hi. 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 How do I make a big screen? Oh, hang on. I don't know if you can because I'm we're sideways. We're up and down. Yeah, no. Well, I got it. I got it bigger. Okay. Here we are. Look, it's camera reception. It's camera on a camera on a camera. It's just like to infinity. <laughs> Let me get mine out. That's right. Are we on, are we on YouTube? Yeah, you're on YouTube. 
<laughs> Do you want a tour? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go back up outside. One of our sincere hopes for this journey is to share it with as many friends and family as possible. Giving a tour of our boat to Kirsten's parents was an excellent way to start sharing the adventure, even if it was over the phone. Show, show, my, show, show my how it swivels on the gimbal. Oh yeah. Push down the... So there's the boat. Oh! There's the boat. Yeah, yeah. The boat rocks that this stays low. Oh, so yeah. you can cook on it. <laughs> cool. Sixteen wide. Yeah. So minimum depth is twelve. With the phone tour complete, we continued the inventory process. This time, taking detailed measurements of everything we could think of, so that way we can make plans for the various spaces of the wind that we are back in Chicago. But we're towards the end of it. All we really have left is Kirsten's gonna go down and see how easy it will be to do the UV shade. And I have a few more like measurements and stuff, but really today was just a day of measurements and other things. You know, uh, just taking a lot of measurements so that way we can plan the refit well when we get back home. Um, we'll go from there. Here I go down the ladder to try to figure out this sunshade. It's just a big piece of fabric that goes around the boat on the outside to, I guess, protect the hull uh, from the sun. Okay, so I have the UV shade rolled all the way out around the boat, all the way over there. But I don't see how to actually attach it to the boat. I don't see, there's a wire ties in a couple of places, but there's no holes or ropes or anything. So I think I might take a look at a couple other boats. They have the shades up and see how they have them connected. Let's go see. This boat just has wire ties everywhere and it looks like it just goes right through the fabric. They have wire ties up there. And then they also have wire ties connecting this rope. I think this might be to weigh it down so it stays so it stays down when it gets windy.
back from our run. Probably just a quick like 30 minutes here at the boat. If that, hopefully we can get in and out quicker. All we have to do is knock down this beehive, close it back up, I think, right? Not flexible enough to get your nope. leg over the sign. So we came here earlier this morning, put up this big blower fan, push air into the cabin, also opened up a few of the hatches because we gotta get rid of this beehive. So let's do that now, I guess. Um, Turn it off now. <laughs> Woo, that it feels good though. Okay, so if y'all remember, we have these, but they all look dead now. I don't think there's any stuff because we uh, set one of these off yesterday before we left. Just be glad we didn't go through a million bee puns. Be yeah. aggressive. Be -e aggressive. My, my dad told us to be careful. Yeah. Finally done with that, hopefully. The bees are gone. I mean, still gotta clean up some of the corpses. <laughs> but but that's okay, we can deal with that at a later date. Next trip down, we'll make sure to clean the rest of them up. Bring a little shot back. Okay, let's get moving. So we're gonna go back, get cleaned up, close the boat up, uh, check out of our Airbnb. Yeah. Okay. That's a wrap on this trip. Thanks for coming along with us. We hope that you continue to join us in this journey. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time.